Welcome to the latest in our series of St Lawrence Faith Talks, short talks which explore some aspect of Christianity and Christian life. Today I want to talk a little bit about hope, and hope of course is one of Christianity's three theological virtues as described by St Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, the others being faith and love. And if you like, faith, hope and love work together and impact upon each other. I thought I'd talk about hope in the context of the Prime Minister earlier this week, providing the roadmap to some form of normality, hopefully by early summer. And of course, we hope that that normality realises. But then I got thinking, what's the difference between a wish and a wonder? Or at least what's the difference from a Christian perspective between a wish and a wonder? I think a wish is entirely passive. I wish that this will come about. I'll keep my fingers crossed. But it doesn't involve us doing anything. And in fact, it's inherently forward looking. It says nothing about the present moment. Hope by contrast isn't all about us. We bring God into the equation. And I think we also try and bring something of the desired future state back into the here and now. So hope is active and not just responsive. A wish in a sense is fatalistic and maybe even just stoical. To hope is to be active participatory and Christian. We can probably think of hope as a bit like this, the confident expectation for the future. And when grounded in God, hope provides the motivation to live the Christian life in the here and now, even in the face of trouble. So hope isn't just future orientated, it's present orientated. A bit like faith and love. That's the point of a virtue. Virtue brings something of the the, the past and the future into the present. The sense, it blurs the distinction. There's a psalm that I love, Psalm 27, and it concludes with these wonderful words. I'm sure that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Have courage and wait. Wait for the Lord. To hope does require a sense of waiting. It also requires a sense of steadfastness or courage, but it can never be entirely passive. So a question we might want to reflect on for ourselves is what might you want to do or we want to do as a church to live the Christian life, to bring the Christian life to others, even in these most challenging times? For in a sense, whereas a gift waits and hangs on in there, a hope waits, but does something even now to make things better, more Christian, if you like. So may the road rise up to meet you and the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face The rain falls soft upon your fields. Until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Amen.